Bienvenidos, Husham D, and welcome to this supplemental video tutorial on the Netacad Introduction to Python course Lab 2.1.1.19, where we're now going to continue our conversation about the print function. The previous lab that we worked on was Lab 2.1.1.7, and in that lab we were introduced to the print function. We learned that it's a built-in function. It's part of the Python standard library. In other words, it's provided to us. We don't need to create it or import it or bring it in. And we also learned that the function can take one argument, it can take multiple arguments, or we can put no arguments at all inside the parentheses for the print function. And so now we're going to be talking about keyword arguments in the print function. And you might be asking, what are the keyword arguments? Well, we've actually already seen these when we were working with the Integrated Development Learning Environment, or Python's idle, which is a interactive interpreter that allows us to check out our code, maybe test a few things before we go to put it into a file. So lab 2.1.1.19 is all about these keyword arguments. And specifically, we're looking at SEP for the separator and END for the ending character that we would like to have. Maybe we don't want to have any character at all. And so let's take a look at some of the formatting capabilities. Now, again, this is one of the early labs in the Python course. And so while this might seem simple, there are other formatting methods that we will get to when we talk about the print function. But this is just sort of the basics. So we're being asked to produce the output that you see here at the bottom of the screen but we're not allowed to change anything in the second print invocation right here, where it just simply says print, and then the only argument is the string Python. Now, the first line of the program has three, what we'll refer to as arguments for the function here, which are three strings. We have the string programming, we have another string essentials, and we have another string in. And remember, I said that we could even mix and match the quotes for the different strings, and sorry about that, I wanted to come back up here, for the different strings, and this is going to work just fine. So remember that. But can you mix and match them with an individual string? The answer is no. Remember from our previous video, I can use single quotes around my string. I can use double quotes around my string. I can use triple quotes around my string in the print function, but I cannot mix and match them with the same string. Here we have three individual strings. And so if I was to run this, let's see what we get. And we should see that it's gonna say programming essentials in and then on a new line, we have Python. Now, let's go ahead and talk about first the separator and specifically the default separator. And to do that, let's come over to the interactive interpreter or idle. And so here we are at the interactive interpreter. Now, if I was to print up and I'll use single quotes for everything. And let me make sure I get this programming essentials in Python. So I'll just say programming and then comma and then essentials comma and then in is it just in or is it yeah it's just in so we'll say in now when i hit enter here you'll notice that we get a space automatically between each of the strings that we're providing to arguments with the print function now what's making that happen is the comma because if i was to recreate that same print statement so I'll say programming, and then we'll say, and you can see here, it's giving us, right, this little helper in idle for the default separator is a space. But what if I get rid of the commas, right? Without the comma in there to indicate that there's a space space between the arguments, right? That default separator is indicated by the space. Because if I say programming and then essentials and then in, is there going to be a space between these or is it going to be jammed all together? And so let's take a look. You can see it jams it all together because it's the comma 
that's giving the indication, or I should say it's, it's indicating that we're going to be using the default separator, which is simply going to be a space. And that's what we get right here. So the question is, how could we use that keyword argument SEP to change the output of what we're seeing? And so if I come over here again, you can clearly see here that what we have is programming essentials in and then a new line with Python. And we're trying to get these triple asterisks instead of the space. So you might be wondering, could I just simply say print and then come in here and say programming and then do three asterisks and then essentials and then do three asterisks, right? As the separators here and then in. What is that going to look like? And we're going to get a syntax error here, right? Because we've got this character, the asterisk, and the print function is saying, I'm not really certain how you're trying to use this here, right? And what we'd like to do is we want to keep that comma in there. So I'm going to say print and we'll say programming. Now there's the comma, right? And again, by default, by default, the separator is a space when I drop that comma in there. And you can see I'm not, I can go right up against the comma. I don't need to say space and then put essentials, uh, the first single quote. I'm going to say essentials. And then we're going to say comma in. And now here at the end, right, I'm going to use SEP. So let's go ahead and say comma SEP equal. I'm going to do a single quote. And then I'm going to put the string in that I would like to use. And so what this keyword argument to the print function is doing, and it's a keyword argument because it, it's appearing here after everything, because you might be wondering, well, can I put that at the front? And we're going to see what that looks like and what Python's going to do. But first, let's run this, right? It's again, taking a larger program, a larger challenge, breaking it down into smaller, easier to digest chunks. All right, so that looks good. This is what we're looking for in the first part with the programming triple asterisks, essentials triple asterisks, in, and then we have this dot, 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 and then Python. So let's go ahead and let's come back here and let's see what we could do next. In fact, let me go ahead and give you that example of, okay, well, can you put the separator at the beginning? Whoops, we'll put three in there. And is this going to do the same thing? And let's see here. So we'll say programming, and then we'll say essentials, and then we'll say in. So does this have the same effect? It does not. So you can see here the syntax error, positional argument follows keyword argument. Because these, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to highlight all of that. These arguments, right? Remember, I keep calling them arguments. These arguments, the three strings that we're passing into the print function, these arguments are positional, meaning their position as to where they occur inside the parentheses of the print function is important. So we can't have a keyword argument before the positional arguments because their position counts. They need to be at the beginning. We need the keyword arguments to be at the end. And so hopefully that drives home that these keyword arguments like SEP and END need to be at the end of the argument list that we're providing to the print function. So we've got the first part of our problem worked out. If I come back over here, we now want dot, 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 Python. And this is where end, the keyword argument end, is going to come into play. So if I was to issue a basic print statement here, and let's just go ahead and say, hello, Python, right? Now, you'll notice that the keyword argument end has a default of backslash n. In other words, a new line character is the default. So if I don't do anything and simply type print hello Python, as we talked about the interactive interpreter, it's going to read and then evaluate and then print and then loop again. 
and oops, sorry and I left off my single quote so let's get that back in here so fortuitous failure right I get to type this in one more time hello Python single quote so it reads evaluates and prints what I've put here on the interactive interpreter prompt what I've typed in and it prints it out but we get a new line and that's how come the interactive interpreter prompt is on a line by itself because after it types the after it prints out the in for Python from the string that we're printing out we get that new line character and it drops it right down here to the new line so by default with the print function that is the default behavior so let me ask you this if I was to say hello Python again and we'll put an exclamation mark in there this time and type in comma end equal and then put a single quote and I could use single quotes I could use double quotes right backslash in is this command here and I'm not talking about syntactically I'm talking about functionally functionally is this command here this print function command that we have is it any different than that commands output because again all I'm doing here is specifying what the default is and so the behavior will be the same functionally these two print statements or I should say print functions that we're running in the statements that we get they are functionally identical so we get the same output because that is the default so I don't want a new line character remember the guidance is we cannot change anything in the second print invocation here I can't touch what is here so we we know that the default at the end here is a new line character but I want Python to be printed on the same line in other words I don't want the new line character what I want are three periods so we've broken this problem down this challenge into two separate problems the first was the keyword argument SCP for the separator that we were looking for between the arguments we're providing to the print function now we're going to come back and say print programming and I wanted uh essential I'm looking for the word sorry essentials essentials comma in now can I combine the keyword arguments you absolutely can combine the keyword arguments so we're going to put a comma in here and I'm going to say SCP and we're going to put in those asterisks for the default separator between these three arguments right remember those are the positional arguments this is a keyword argument hence we have that keyword SCP and then all I need to do is put another comma in here to separate the keyword arguments we're working with and I'm gonna say instead of the default right remember new line is the default I don't want a new line I just want three dots and that's it and so this command right here should satisfy the requirement that we haven't touched the second print statement but yet we're going to keep this all on one line so let's go ahead and let's change over here at the end here let me go ahead and say comma SCP equal and we'll put in the three asterisks and then I'm going to say comma end equal use a single quote and the three dots or the three periods and so we've used these two keyword arguments in order to enhance the formatting of the output again as I commented in the previous video there are multiple ways to format your output we're in the second module here of an introductory course and so this is what we're going to see we'll get into the more advanced formatting options as we move further on so let's run this let me clear the screen down here first for our console let me run this and let's see what happens and what we should see is everything on one line together because we've overridden the carriage return we're saying don't do the carriage return just put three dots and then we get the Python word or I should say the string on the same line as 
the rest of the print statement from the first line. And so again, we could simply take this, let's bring it over here and drop it into a new file. Whoops, let me is it close and let's drop that into the new file. Let's hit F5. We're going to save this and I'm simply going to call it 2.1.1.19.py. And there we go. And so you now have it saved off in a file. If you've saved it to your local file system, again, we're using the integrated development learning environment, which is the sort of lowest common denominator. I don't mean that from a derogatory sense, or I don't mean that to sound as if this is not good. I'm just saying that this is probably the most common across the Python distributions that are installed by default. If you're installing from the python.org page and the C Python distribution, this is the easiest thing to say, hey, we all have access to this. Again, if I was to pull up, uh, you know, sublime text or something like that, everyone might not have sublime text, but everybody has access to idle because it is free. All right, well, this is going to wrap up the supplemental tutorial for lab 2.1.1.19, where we took a look at keyword arguments, specifically SEP for the separator and END for the end of line carriage return, which is what the default is. And we change those things. All right. Stay happy, stay healthy. And I hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching.